Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day this video. All right, I want to talk to you guys about all of these little, you know, Bitcoin solo miners advertised for mainly solo mining Bitcoin. You could pool mine with them, but you're really, you're not making anything at all. So I wanted to make this video because I got a question the other day. They said, Red Panda, are all of these miners scams? Are you actually going to be able to find a Bitcoin block in your lifetime? And that's a question I've been thinking about. Am I actually going to find a Bitcoin block in my lifetime? Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. It's really all based, really all based on luck. And recently there have been devices that have been finding Bitcoin blocks, whether it has been like a Bidax Gamma or maybe a Nerd QX Plus Plus. I think we do know a first generation Nerd QX Plus did find a block, I think a couple months ago, but it's very rare that, you know, we've been seeing solo miners that have these types of devices that are finding Bitcoin blocks. I mean, it is happening, but of course, it's very rare. Of course, everyone says it's better than playing the lottery because we're essentially playing the lottery every 10 minutes. That's Bitcoin's block times. Every 10 minutes, there's a new block that is minted being a proof of work coin. So a lucky person that is either maybe mining to their own, you know, umbrella node or their own node at home or their own Bitcoin node at home. They have their own stratum or even solo mining to ckpool.org, which I'm personally doing right now. I also have a few miners going to my own future bit Apollo, which I have hosted locally. But another question I got was Red Panda, you have so many of these little devices here. And yeah, I do. Is there any point to, you know, getting into these at scale? Why don't you just buy like an S19 or an S21 XP? And that I have to say, there are many pros and cons in doing that, which I want to explain in this video. But personally, just to let you all know, okay, the reason why I have so many devices, you see here, I have a bunch of Oct Axes. I actually have two more in boxes here. I have more Nerd QX Plus Pluses, Revision 6.1 models here. This one here, as you guys can see, uh, by the way, I am giving one of these away. Just comment in the video I have linked down below of uh, the video is called how much Bitcoin hash rate do I have right now? Solo mining Bitcoin. So go watch that video and just comment down below your thoughts basically. And I'll be choosing the winner very soon from that video's YouTube comments. Anyways, personally, in my situation, would I be going out and buying all these types of miners for solo mining Bitcoin or just maybe Bitcoin mining in general? And my answer to that would be no. And here's why. As most of you know and who have been following my channel I have like my own dedicated space with like 15,000 watts of power I have three 30 amp 240 volt circuits right now dedicated for crypto mining in my basement in my garage here mainly for these types of miners I have a few bitmain devices like uh, my Avalon Q down here I just have one but I used to have also my Ant Miner S21 XP. I had a Canon Avalon A15 Pro, like big boy miners that take, you know, 3,000, 38, sometimes 4,000 watts. So I've been, you know, Bitcoin mining and script mining at scale. And so this is why, in my opinion, my preferred method for, you know, crypto mining or specifically Bitcoin mining, because I'm earning daily by pool mining. I'm not solo mining with these things because I run everything as a business and I got to get that reoccurring, you know, I guess people say like passive income. Basically what I'm earning every day has to be above what I'm paying on electricity. So another big reason is my electricity cost, right? Where I'm mining right here, I'm about seven, 7.3, 7.5 cents USD for electric. So that's why I would prefer mining like this rather than, you know, buying a bunch of little tiny solo Bitcoin miners because they don't really earn that much. Of course, depending on someone's financial situation, you know, someone's not gonna spend a couple thousand dollars, $5,000 on, you know, an S21 XP or something like that. But you are getting, you know, a lot more for your dollar when you're buying bigger miners like this. You're getting a lot more like dollar per hash for your Bitcoin miner versus these types of miners, which, you know, sometimes cost about, I've seen varying prices on these, you know, 400, 500, 600, 1,000 dollars for even like these oct axes right and so you see the dollar per hash that you're getting 
on these, it's it's really not great compared to like obviously a big boy miner. But another con for big boy mining is what you guys saw downstairs is I'm using a lot of power. The fans are really loud. I gotta have a dedicated space essentially. I gotta have an exhaust fan. I gotta worry about all these different factors when I'm using so much more power versus these little guys, of course, they're quieter. They only take, you know, under 100 watts, 200 watts, depending what type of model you have. They can run on 120 volt. You can put them, you know, anywhere in your house and they're really nice little desk pieces. Fundamentally, okay, this is, and this is one, I think maybe a lot of people who are advocates for, you know, crypto mining and Bitcoin especially especially you know proof of work for Bitcoin Bitcoin's network hash rate right now is definitely quite centralized on you know a few mining pools so the key word there is decentralization for everyone that has these types of devices we may not find a block but we have decentralization and I got that quote from one of my YouTube comments in like one of my older videos. I thought that was a really great quote for people who are advocates for, you know, crypto mining and Bitcoin mining in general. Yes, when we have more people that are getting into Bitcoin mining, having these types of devices that have, you know, not not a lot of hash rate, but as you know people that have maybe free power or solar or just cheaper power or don't even care how much they're paying because and the, again these things don't really take that much power compared to a Bitmain S21 XP or you know the miners that I showed you in my basement right that I'm currently running at like a medium scale miner per se. So I'm gonna have to say you know there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to should you be investing in these types of miners or big boy Bitcoin miners you know are these scams they're not scams you can actually find a block with these you know I've tried it I've, I've hit a block on different networks not on Bitcoin per se but on other SHA-256 networks like I found a Bitcoin cash block before on my one of my Avalon mini threes I found a digibyte block with one of my oct axes and now I'm trying my luck on a Bitcoin block but again to further reiterate you know Bitcoin mining and solo mining and all these types of little devices, it's really gonna depend on you know someone's financial situation and essentially your wallet. People that are gonna be you know spending money on these types of miners. I'm gonna have to say, you know, don't spend money that you can't afford to lose. You will not get rich tomorrow mining with one of these things. I mean, unless you hit a block, but that's the gamble. That's the lottery play uh, regarding these, you know, types of miners. Again, personally and in my financial situation, I would rather be investing into the bigger boy ASIC miners where, again, I have cheaper power, I have the infrastructure to do it, I have the environment to do it, and I'm running it as a business. So for those types of points, for me personally in my situation, that's why I would rather go with buying like a, a Bitmain S21 XP. I get, you know, a lot more hash rate, like 270 tera hash versus like maybe a 10 tera hash oct axe here. But this thing costs like 600, 700 bucks. A Bitmain S21 costs like what, $4,000, $5,000 now? If you do the dollar per hash comparison there, the S21 XP blows the oct axe out of the water in that type of comparison. But again, fundamentally, you know, decentralization as we have more people getting into this we have a more decentralized hash rate I'd say more and more people you know with residential electric you know have higher cost per kilowatt hour so of course they can't you know mine with bigger boy Bitcoin miners they're gonna look into these types of miners instead to try their luck to find a Bitcoin block so yeah you may see I have yeah red panda how come you have so many of these devices well yeah a lot of resellers a lot of companies send me these devices to showcase and to also give away as well and I'm extremely appreciative to these resellers for sending me these devices because really there's not very many people making videos about this or content about these devices which again helps decentralize Bitcoin if you look at it in that regard but also give the ability for anyone that maybe has a smaller budget under like a thousand dollars under five hundred dollars to be able to participate and you know Bitcoin mine at home but on a much smaller scale anyways guys I just wanted to make this video just to clarify I don't know my end here give you guys my reasonings but I do plan on making a shelf right here all across here on my wooden back wall in one of my gaming land rooms here I have uh, <laughs> you can see my table is completely covered in all these you know octaxes hydro models nerd QX plus pluses and I do have more here that I'm gonna be setting up but I want to kind of have them showcased up there and I do have a lot more power capacity to uh, turn these things on. I have two uh, 20 amp, 120 volt circuits on each side here, so I could add more here. 
and uh, actually have two more uh, 15 amp 120 volt circuits on the same wall here uh, this wall here as well so yeah I could power more of these devices anyways I'm just blabbing on uh, you guys let me know your thoughts down below what I explained doesn't make sense doesn't make sense or ultimately are these just a waste of money and you're not gonna get your money back I mean yeah I think anyone investing in these majority of people there are hundreds of thousands of people who have bought these devices and if we're all trying to solo mine a Bitcoin block there's a very small percentage of people from everyone who have bought these that are actually gonna get or find or hit a Bitcoin block anyways I'll see you all in the next video don't forget to comment in that video how much Bitcoin hash rate do I have I have a link down below just comment on that video and also just give me your thoughts in this video regarding what I just talked about all right I'll see you on the next one have a good one peace out peace out